What's up guys? I'm uh, here with my girlfriend today. She's behind the camera and we're actually we're not fishing today because of the weather But there's a big tournament like a semi-pro BFL uh, Tournament on South Holston Reservoir, which is only like 30 minutes away from Emory and Henry So we decided we're gonna ride down there just to watch the weigh-in and I got some big news to share with you guys later uh, You'll see that later in this video. This video is gonna be more of a vlog format So if you like that kind of video, uh, let me know down in the comments section but if you don't like it and you just want to see fishing, then let me know. That's pretty much it. I'll see you guys when we get to the weigh-in. Moto, Gene LaRue, General Tire, GoPro, Jackson Kayak. I'm the tournament director for the volunteer this year. Once the information's up here and I weigh their fish, it's right inside door. I'm ready for some warm weather, folks. I don't know about y'all. I haven't had a warm tournament yet this year. First Fisherman coming up, he's out of Bristol, Virginia on the boater side is Kevin Hughes right here for me. Kevin, starting it off with a five bass limit. Set the mark pretty high right off the bat, Kevin. How we catch them, man? Uh, everything. Everything, didn't matter? They just chomping? Uh, so, yeah, most of the day. All right, let's see what you got. Five in the bag for Kevin. He's gonna set the mark on the boater side with a five bass limit. Gonna weigh 14 pounds, seven ounce. Great job, Dave, Kevin. Good start to the day, partner. 10 pounds, 15 ounces for him at 10.15. Thanks, sir. He's out of Powell, Tennessee. This is Scott Pittman. Bagging all right there for me, Scott. One bass going to weigh 6 pounds, 13 ounces. Give him a big round of applause. That's definitely got big bass on us right now. Yeah, pull that out. Pull this bag out. Right on top of that tub. Look at that photo. Or look at that camera. Get a photo taken. It's five bass. Going to weigh 12 pounds, 6 ounces. 12.6. Thanks, sir. Five in the bag for Brian. His five fish gonna weigh 10 pounds, 14 ounces, 10, 14. Thank you, Brian. Out of the back of the boat, good sack of fish here for four fish. Sean's four bass gonna weigh 11 pounds, two ounces, 11, two. Sean, that's got the lead on the corner side. Great job, partner. Good job today, partner. How we catch them today, Bo? Ah, uh, jerk baiting mostly. Don't want to jerk bait. Bo's got him five in the bag. He's gonna take the lead. His five bass gonna weigh 14 pounds, 11 ounces. Give Bo a big round of applause. Great job today, Bo. Wayne's five bass, gonna weigh 14 pounds, two ounces, 14.2, sitting third place right now, Wayne. 14 pounds, 14 ounces, got Jesse sitting in second place. Good job, Dave, Jesse. Well, guys, we've decided we're gonna leave. Here's why, let me show you. So, basically, yeah, it's raining and sleeting, hell and whatever it is doing outside, I'm not really sure. And um, we're gonna go do something a lot better. We're gonna go watch a movie, right? <laughs> what? <laughs> I think the guy that was in the lead had like 15 pounds. I'm sure like 16 or 17 is probably going to win it. Uh, it didn't look like that many people had big ones today. Uh, but surprisingly, I'm surprised somebody even got 15 or 16 pounds. We've just had this big cold front move in. It's just pretty neat going to events like this. I, I'm not here to support anybody in particular or anything like that. It's just really interesting to see what people catch and how much skill is actually involved in bass fishing. A lot of people think fishing is just luck, but it's more than that. But yeah, I gotta tell you guys something big when we get back to school, and it's pretty cool news. Go get food here, it's awesome. Panda Express. Next stop, Ulta Beauty. Woo! <laughs> she makes me go in here every time. Not every time, just most times. Well, <laughs> Stop it. well guys, we were gonna try to go to the movies, but the movie turns out it was sold out. I've never been to a movie before, it's ever been sold out That's unless it's like a premiere or something. It is the premiere tonight, I think. Oh, it's a premiere? Oh, okay. Well, anyway, we were going to go see some movie and it was sold out. So now we got to wait till 9.45 to go see it. We better go back and reserve a 9.45 or else we're not going to have a spot for 9.45. You're right. Well, guys, we're going to fish for like five what minutes. Was, what would you do if we went there? At 9.45, we waited two hours and said, hey, can we have tickets? They're like, oh, I'm so sorry, it's already sold out. That, that one's sold out too. Anyway, we're gonna fish for about five minutes at this Bass Pro Pond right By here. We? He yeah. Him. No, you're gonna catch some. You're I'm gonna... not going to fish right now. I'm gonna catch a toad on a spinnerbait it's while it's snowing in April. It's far too cold. It's literally snowing. It's far too cold. <laughs> mess. It was your suggestion to come down here. That's because, sweetie, I knew it would make you so happy. <laughs> Truth, truth. They're not gonna bite a shaky head today, not with this cold front. That's the worst thing that could have happened today. She can actually use a bait caster, I promise. It's just she decided to backlash it today. Why'd you backlash? 
Because it's snowing, Jared, and it hit, the wind hit it bad. Yeah, casting into the wind is pretty tough. Especially when you're a rookie. One cast. Give me one cast. Okay, let's get out of here. Well, guys, it's freezing. It is literally freezing. What is this? It's supposed to be April. April is warm. All right, what's up, guys? It's actually the next day here. I'm actually in a classroom right now just doing some studying, doing some homework uh, for tomorrow's classes and this week. So the big news that I was talking about at the beginning of this video was we actually are starting a bass fishing team here at Emory and Henry College. What happened was is there was a couple guys that went to the president about starting a bass fishing team, and he seemed really supportive of the idea. And one of the guys saw me and said, hey, you want to go to a meeting with um, the vice president of students? And I said, yeah, of course, I would love to try to go convince him of trying to get a bass fishing team for the college because there's all these other colleges that have bass fishing teams and even small liberal arts schools like Emory and Henry because Emory and Henry only has like 1,200 students uh, anyway. I was telling some of the administration that like it's great to have a bass fishing team in a school like this because it's a unique sport and that it's growing really fast. Um, also, it only takes two good fishermen to do really well. If you look at small colleges that are doing really well in bass fishing right now, you have like Adrian College, you have Bethel, uh, it's either Bethel University or Bethel College. Anyway, I was telling them about all these schools that they don't have a lot of enrollment, kind of like us, but they're really good at bass fishing. And I just told them like it'd be a great way to recruit students. And so anyway, we were actually really successful in um, making this bass fishing team. And we have our first tournament uh, on April 21st at Smith Mountain Lake. It's one of the FLW Yeti College Fishing Series tournaments. And I'm really excited about that. We're only gonna send two boats out there just because we're really limited on the amount of boats we have. But we have like 20 people that are in the club that are uh, really interested in being on the team. So if you guys want to support our bass fishing team here at Emory & Henry, we're kind of working with a limited budget. Uh, so I actually link a GoFundMe page down in the description of this video if you want to check that out and donate. We'll appreciate any donation at all. It doesn't matter how much money it is. Uh, your contribution will help no matter what. But don't feel obligated to donate or anything like that. Uh, of course, their money's just going to be used for a bass fishing team. There's other charitable causes you could put your money towards that'd probably be better. But if you just, I'm just saying, if you wanted to support the team, that would be a great way to do so. Again, we're just really lacking on the boat situation. You know, I've caught up uh, places on Smith Mountain trying to find boat rentals because we have more people who want to go, but we just don't have the boats to do so. So I've called up all these boat rental places. None of them really have bass boats, and the ones that do, they're already rented out. We can't really rent a boat for that day. And then buying a boat, we don't really have enough money. Um, but I think we found a used boat at a boat dealer that's nearby that the college is going to go check out and actually purchase. I'm not sure yet. Uh, it's one that I found. It's like a tracker aluminum boat. And a lot of the college fishing guys that are out there in the tournaments today use a boat sort of like that. Just a good little aluminum boat to get us started, you know, and uh, see where the team takes us from there. Like I was saying, um, there's only going to be two boats in this tournament. Uh, one of those boats is going to have me and Aubriana on it. My girlfriend, of course, uh, you saw her earlier in this video. Yeah, so she's going to outfish me. Put us really high in the standings, catch the biggest bass of the tournament, hopefully. That's the plan. Yeah, yep. so. Again, we're really excited for this tournament. I think it's going to be a great experience for both of us. I've never fished a tournament before, so I think it's going to be a lot of fun to get out there on the water with Jared and catch some big old bass at Smith Mountain Lake. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed today's content, please like the video down below and subscribe to Jared Tuck, and we will give you more content like this. And as always, go take someone fishing.